Hi, this is Tamara from Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, and you're watching Still Crazy After All These Beers. Still Crazy After All These Beers is brought to you by our friends at Chilled Nightlife and Entertainment Magazine. Eat, drink, and be merry at chilledmagazine.com. And by Porta Pong, the world's number one best selling inflatable floating beer pong table at portapong.com. Hey, welcome to the 2009 Lang City Beer Fest celebration of the Suds. DJ Morse, what's the name of this company? This company is Wachusa Brewing Company out of Westminster, Massachusetts. Wow, okay, now I'm starting to see your product along the East Coast quite a bit, and you've got a nice little portfolio of beers going on here. Yeah, we sure do. Um, this head brewery's been open for uh, about 15 years now, 1994. Uh, three founders, just three buddies from WPI, to, uh, Worcester Poly uh, Tech, and uh, Worcester Mass started the company. Um, and uh, so far, yeah, we're in New York, New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts. So. It's amazing how companies start. They were probably home brewers. They were home brewers, uh, kind of. You know, went back and forth as far as uh, who who would make the better home brew, and uh, all had all had quote unquote normal jobs, if you will, as engineers, and uh, decided that enough was enough, and uh, you know, packed it in and uh, opened up a brewery. So they yeah, decided to start having fun for they a while. Decided to start having fun for a while, and 15 years later, they're still having a phenomenal time. So yeah. Well, I'll tell you, this is the first time I've had this green monster ale. This sounds Bostonish to it me. Is, it is very Bostonish. Am yeah, I, am, of course. Am, I, am I right if I'm thinking of the, the uh, left field wall? You are correct <laughs> to think about the left hand wall. So yeah, absolutely. So uh, it's green monster ale. It's uh, we brewed it about five years ago. Uh, first time out. Uh, it's about 6.5 percent alcohol. It's a great malty beverage. Uh, very drinkable for 6.5. Made with a little bit of East Kent Golden Hop. So it's uh, it's very tasty. Like I, like I tell you, when I first it took my first sip. And I asked you the alcohol cut, you said 6.5%. I don't really get that, right? Yeah, it comes no, down really balanced. Exactly, which uh, is, is a good thing slash could be a bad thing because you drink a few of them, you don't realize. It catches up to you pretty quick. So yeah, that, that, that happened to you once, right, at a ball game? It, it, it may have happened. Another sales rep and I, we tried to do a beer and inning and nine. Oh, a beer nine, and inning? Oh, a beer and inning. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, we tried to have, we had our own experiment. At home, it was a controlled, uh, you know, controlled environment, but... Not a good idea. So how, many, how many innings did you get through on that? We got through eight, and then we decided to pack it in, so it was a good time. Well, it's a good thing the game didn't go in extra innings, exactly. otherwise there would have been a That would have been bad bad news for everybody. So. Now, i, I got to ask you this off the record. Um, I mean, you guys are like diehard Red Sox fans. Absolutely, okay, absolutely. Um, I, like, grew up with Mickey Mantle and Don Mattingly and New York Yankees. Absolutely. Uh, you okay with that? I'm absolutely... I'm actually fine with that, believe it or not. I'm a baseball fan, so uh, I'm a Red Sox fan through and through. Born and raised, have no choice. I actually, you know, had my Red Sox hat on, switched to the company hat, you know. But um, I, you know what? There's something about the, the Yankees-Boston rivalry. It's fabulous. Uh, believe it or not, our number one selling beer in New York is the Green Monster Ale. So, now, is it, that's, what, what does that tell you? Well, it uh, tells you it's a damn good beer, number one. It tells you a damn good beer. It tells you that there's a lot of Boston transplants in New York as well. <laughs> so that's, that has something to do with it. So. DJ, you got a nice beer here. really like it. And a great portfolio. You have your seasonals and then regular lineup. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, um, just real quick rundown. I mean, our country ales are, um, is our flagship. First beer the boys brewed back in 94. Um, they apparently put it in a bottle and, uh, or in a growler, actually and thought it was good enough to actually start a company. And uh, 15 years later, we're about a 20,000 barrel, uh, a, a, a 20, barrel a year uh, brewery right now. Uh, second largest brewer of beer in Massachusetts, one of the top 50 craft breweries in the uh, United States. So yeah, we're doing something right. Doing so. something right. You know what? Absolutely. I'm gonna go over and play a little bit of Porta Pong right now. Have you played that yet? <laughs> I might. I may actually have just purchased one. It might be just sitting over here in the corner. Absolutely, it's, it's, those guys are fantastic. and. Uh, yeah, we're excited to be able to uh, kind of collaborate with those guys as well. So I've walked past that booth several times. I want to head over there. Hey, TJ, thanks for your hospitality. Thank you very much. We appreciate right, it. Man, so. And thanks for the beer. Good Anytime. job. Thank you. I'm with Jerry and Sal. This is Porta Pong. What is Porta Pong, guys? Porta Pong is the world's first inflatable beer pong table. It lets you play the game of beer pong anywhere on anything. Pools, tailgating, camping, you name it, you can take it and play with it. How did this come about, Sal? We were going on a family vacation uh, about two years ago, and uh, we decided we wanted to do something in the pool, and uh, it came up, and that's how it started. We were like, hey, we want to play beer pong in the pool. Nobody had it, so we came up with it. You know, it's amazing how ideas come about. It seems, looking at it, and we'll have someone demo it a little later, it seems like such an interesting and simple idea, 
but it's so effective. Absolutely. When Google came up zero, we couldn't believe it. The first time ever. We went to work, we sat down, we drew out the design, we went and we sourced out factories, and we said, you know what, everyone loves beer pong, and bringing it to a whole level of, you know what, plywood, hard tables, expensive tables, not everyone gets to play wherever they want to play, so we wanted to come up with a fun and unique way to play the game of beer pong wherever they can, and an inflatable idea was just the most common and most accessible idea to us at the time. Now I know it's not all just fun and games, but you're actually involved with some charities. Yes we are, we're currently donating uh, five dollars for every pink porter pong that we purchase, every pink porter pong that we sell, to the Keep a Breast Foundation. Uh, this table right here, everyone's been signing, which we'll be sending off to them to use at their charity events. Now, where can people find the products out? People can find the product on uh, www.portapong.com and uh, mostly our website. There's other venues that sell it as well. So it's really working out then. I've seen you guys at a lot of different shows, and I know there's a lot of activity. Yeah, we, uh, we travel the Beer Fest circuit. We love it. It uh, gives us a chance to meet our fans and customers and interact with them. Uh, we've done a couple of charity events, local uh, golf tournaments, bar events. Uh, we just came back from the World Series of Beer Pong in Las Vegas. There's a World Series of Beer Pong? Yes, sir. There's a World Series of Beer Pong. Actually, they're here. They're here. Dollar prize tournament. What? That's absolutely right. $50,000 for a beer pong. I think I better learn how to play then. Absolutely. I'm, I'm good at drinking beer. I don't know if I'm good at playing beer pong though. Give it a try. Go well, ahead. I think, think we've got a couple of volunteers coming in who are going to be doing a little work with us. Oh, here they come. Come on in, girls. What's your name again? Christina. Christina. And you are? Brittany. And you are? Lindsay. And you guys are going to play some porta pong? Oh, yeah. Have you ever done this before? No. So it's first time for you. All right. We're going to demonstrate some porta pong. All right, girls, so we're going to be playing a little port a You ready to go? All right, go ahead. We'll just watch it here. Oh, that was close, close but no guitar. Oh. anymore <laughs> and we will see you next week thank you girls thank on you. still crazy after all these beers beer. <laughs> see you next week hi this is the show it's still crazy after all these beers i just wanted to fill you guys in on how you can connect with us here at the show one of the ways you can connect with us is to fan us on facebook where you can see exclusive behind the scenes pictures and videos that you can't get anywhere else. Another way you can connect with us is by going to twitter.com slash all these beers. Leave any questions, comments, or suggestions for our show. Send us a tweet. Hey there beer lovers, did you know you could also check us out on high definition at allthesebeers.com? Or if you're on the go and have an iPhone, see any episode by pulling out your phone and visiting allthesebeers.com.